I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in His presence before His precious Word. For our morning meditation, let's turn to Psalms 2 verse 8. Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. The children of Israel claim that the land of Canaan is their promised land because Almighty God has given that land to their forefather Abraham as his inheritance and his own possession. The faith upon that promise of the Lord gives strength to the children of Israel to move forward amidst all other problems. Even when they were attacked by the enemy, when they were taken to the foreign land as slaves, they held on to the promise of the land with faith. It is with that faith that Prophet Daniel was praying before the Lord. And the Lord who is faithful in His promises always hears their cry and does His work according to His plan and purpose. Now let us look into the scripture that says, Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. This is the promise of God, Yehovah, to the Messiah, Lord Jesus Christ, who came to this world as the Savior and Redeemer of the world. Look at how God the Father deals with His Son. Man, Christ Jesus, has to ask or intercede for the nations of the world. Almighty God whom we serve is a God of principles. He never does anything out of some sudden emotional outbursts, as we sometimes do. To understand it better, better, if we look into the life of the former Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth, we can see that though she was the mother to her own children, she had to set aside her emotions and hold on to her principles as the Queen of the nation. The dignity and the principle of the throne is the primary thing for her as a queen. If this is the case with a worldly throne, then how much more does the heaven value its principles? So when we approach the heavenly throne of grace with our emotions, let us have this in our mind that heaven will never do things against the divine principles. The enemy Satan who acts as the God of this world right now has no principles and he is just concerned about receiving worship of the people. When people bow before him, he is ready to fulfill the desires of their heart even if it is against the law of truth. That is why Lord Jesus calls him the father of lies. So let us not approach God with that same attitude, thinking that if we worship Him and give praises to Him, the Lord will fulfill the desires of our heart. Let us not be deceived. God is not mocked. The spirit that works against the principles of God is not from the Lord. When we look at the prayer warriors mentioned in the Word of God, we can see that they all laid their supplications before the throne of God, having their feet grounded on the promises of God. So let us not labor in vain doing things apart from the principles of God. Here, when the Messiah is standing on the promised land, the land of Canaan, a Lord used to teach the principles of God to His disciples to consider everyone as their brothers and sisters. It was because Lord Jesus Christ was about to build His church through the Holy Spirit and the Lord was preparing the minds of His disciples for that. Though the only begotten Son of God came into the world, his disciples unknowingly used to believe that salvation is for the chosen people of God only. It took some time for them to understand and acknowledge it as we see how Apostle Paul struggled when he took the gospel to the Gentiles. When Lord Jesus spent time in the presence of the Father, I think the Lord might have been interceding for the whole world based on the promise of God. And we can see how Christ Jesus thanks the Father and prays for the people that the Father has given him in this world. Lord Jesus prays for their protection from evil, for their sanctification, and also for their sweet experience to abide in the Lord and be united in Him. How blessed we are because we have the Lord as our high priest who intercedes for us. Now let us look into the land of inheritance of the Lord. It is the possession of the Lord forever. None can take them from His possession. That is why Lord Jesus with full authority says, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall never prevail against it. 
And now what is the base of our prayer for the nations and people around me? We abide in Christ and are united to Him. And we are the part of the heavenly fam family. I ask the Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus to have this promise fulfilled upon this earth, to possess the inheritance land which is of immense value in the eyes of the Lord. In this inheritance, the fruitful land lies a great harvest that includes the precious souls from the whole world. With the authority that the Lord has given us before He left this earth, we face the enemy who rules the world and rebels against the Lord. We know that only through Christ the heathens will prosper. So these days let us ask the Father for this inheritance, this precious possession. Let us have that burden for the perishing souls. The more we intercede for the people, the more the love for them will increase in our heart. We will understand the value of each soul that God has created with a purpose. So these days, let us pray to the Father standing on this promise. The faithful Lord God will surely fulfill His promise. May the Lord help each one of us for that. May the Lord bless us by these words. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time. And thank you for the precious word that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for your promises. And Lord, as we have read the scripture this morning, help us to trust your word and claim this promise so that our brothers and sisters who live around us may come to the knowledge of Christ and may be saved from sin and from the coming judgment and enjoy the sweet fellowship of their Father. Help us to intercede. Fill our hearts with that love and passion for the perishing. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.